بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين الامام البخاري كلاكسن هي صحيح حديث عن ابن مسعود عبد الله بن مسعود who says that the prophet sallam came to him and said to him one day اقرا علي القران recite upon me the quran so prophet sallam is requesting ibn mas'ud to recite the quran to him so ibn mas'ud was a bit uh, taken aback surprised uh, because he wanted to know why is prophet sallam want him to recite the quran when it is upon the prophet sallam who the quran has been revealed so he said to him اقرا عليك القران وعليك انزل you want me to recite the quran to you when upon you it came and the quran was sent on the heart of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam نزل به روح الأمين على قلبك لتكون من المنذرين Jibril came down with the Qur'an upon your heart, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that you can be from the warners so Ibn Mas'ud was surprised you want me to recite when on you it was revealed and we cannot compare the Qira'ah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to anybody else of course we have missed out on that uh, bounty of being able to listen to the Qira'ah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this life inshallah we will listen to his qira'ah in the next life. And it comes in a hadith uh, about the recitation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi That Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala does not listen more attentively with pleasure to anything than he listens to a prophet with a good voice who is reciting the Qur'an melodiously in an audible voice. So there's no comparison to the recitation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with any other human being. With that being said, Ibn Mas'ud is no ordinary person in recitation either. Ibn Mas'ud is no slouch when it comes to Quranic recitation. And Rasulullah SAW says about Ibn Mas'ud, مَنْ سَرَّهُ أَنْ يَقْرَأَ الْقُرْآنَ غَضًّا كَمَا أُنزِلْ فَلْيَقْرَأُهُ عَلَىٰ قِرَأَةِ إِبْنِ أُمِّ عَبْدِ Whoever would like to recite the Qur'an fresh, as it has just come down, just like it has just come down, then let him take his recitation from Ibn Ummi Abd, which is the nickname of Ibn Mas'ud. And Ibn Mas'ud, he says about himself, وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ بِيَدِي By the one whose hand is my soul, مَا نَزَلَتْ سُورَ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا أَعْلَمُ فِي مَا نَزَلَتْ وَأَيْنَ نَزَلَتْ He says that, I swear, by the one whose hand is my soul, there's no surah in the Qur'an that has been revealed, except that I know for what reason it was revealed, and where it was revealed. And if I knew anybody who was more knowledgeable of the Quran than me, and I could, I could reach him by camel, I would write to him and reach that person. So Ibn Mas'ud is up there when it comes to the Sahaba, the elite Sahaba who are uh, students of the Quran. And those of us who have been blessed with uh, Isnad and Ijaz in the Quran, we know that. Uh, our isnad goes all the way back to select a few companions, amongst them is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. So Ibn Mas'ud was surprised that Rasulullah wants him to recite the Quran, even though the Quran was revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa But nonetheless, he agreed. And Rasulullah said to him, an min ghayri. I like to hear it from others. This was the reason why Rasulullah wanted to hear the recitation of Ibn, Mas uh, ibn Mas'ud, because he said, I like to hear it from others. So he began to recite, Ibn Mas'ud began to recite and he recited from Surah An-Nisa until he got to the verse فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِن كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ شَهِيدًا عَلَىٰ هَاؤُلَىٰ He got to the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and how will it be when we bring a witness from each nation each nation and then we bring you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a witness over everybody else everybody else all the nations, not only his nation but he is a witness for or against all the other nations so Ibn Mas'ud, he was reciting, when he got to this verse, Rasulullah SAW said to him, that that's enough, hasbuk, or I'm sick, stop. And when he looked up, he saw that Rasulullah SAW's eyes were filled with tears because of the, uh, the meaning of the verse and how heavy it is to be a witness for or against people on the Day of Judgment, not only his nation, but all of the nations Rasulullah SAW will be a witness for. And so he stopped there, and uh, this was the end of the hadith. It's a beautiful hadith which tells us of a sunnah. We might not know that this is a sunnah as well. We know it's a sunnah to recite the Qur'an. But we might not know that it's a sunnah to also listen to the Qur'an. Right? This is a sunnah as well to listen to the Qur'an. 
And for those of us who, who might not reach the level of fluency in reciting the Quran, you might be able to use the lack of fluency as a reason for not reciting. I don't have fluency, so I'm not going to recite the Quran as much as I want to. But there's no excuse for missing out the sunnah of listening to the Quran because you don't need to be fluent. You just need to have your ears open. So if we miss out the sunnah of reciting the Quran, let's not miss out the sunnah of listening to the Quran. And nowadays we have all the available means of listening to the Quran. We have the YouTube, we have uh, all the technology. You can get any reciter you want, your favorite reciter, whatever surah you want, whatever ayat you want, all at the tip of your finger and everything is there. So do not miss out on the sunnah of listening to the Quran. And this is also something that Rasulullah SAW used to do himself, even though he is the one upon which the Quran was revealed. Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ta'ala ala wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala sayyidina Muhammad wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen subhanakallahu wa bihamdik nashallu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi